So that was a long time coming. He's followed by tight end Devon Turman. Mason Sanders, 6'6", junior out of Bowling Springs. Javon Smith, Demage Rooks on the offensive line. Caleb Harris, Armand Lindsay gets the start. Michael Thomas, Casey Stewart, and Cameron Steph to the defense. Seth Laughter on the defensive line. Anthony Blair, Shaquan Burney, linebackers Dalton Pilgrim, Eddie Studivance, middle linebacker Sam Houston, senior at Easley, and Quan Weeks. In the secondary, Tony Godbolt, KJ McDonald, Nigel Gay, and Richard Witherspoon. Witherspoon. Yes, it is special teams unit, and it will be number 39, Matt Gravely, out of Pickens, to take the field goal. From the, from the 30 yard line, this is a 47 yard field goal. This is actually for the, re this will tie the record. Good kick, leaning left. It's good. And it is good. His first collegiate kick, Matt Gravely, ties his brother Justin Gravely at 47 yards. And that initial drive for North Greenville took 317 from the start of the ball game. Now here's West Alabama's offense. They come out in the four wide set, trips to the left, lone man on the right side of the field. Fake handoff from Grammer, and he's already got pressure on him and sacked. By who else? Number 53, Sam Houston. Right, that's number one. <laughs> that's one. That is one. He had a clear path to the quarterback. Absolutely no offensive line blocks at all on him. And when you're coming like a freight train like Houston was, uh, nothing's going to stop you until you get to the quarterback. Pistol set, Foose the tight end in the backfield now. Hand off to Hurd, following his blocker. Hurd straight oh, right up the it. middle. Out jumps three defenders. Can he get a fourth one? Yes, Hurd to the 15, 10. Stays on his feet at the five, dies for the goal line. And it is. They called it in. Touchdown. Great run. Came uh, clear across the field that time. It looked like he ran out of gas right at the end, but he had enough to cross the line. He had enough to jump for it. <laughs> and with two defenders hanging on to him, Ashton Hurd scores the first touchdown for North Greenville 2016. They bring a receiver in motion from the far side. Hunter calls for the snap, hands off to Hurd. Shut the middle, ball comes out, falls forward, and there, now there's a scramble for it. And that one fell right in between three different Tigers. Tigers claiming it. West Alabama ball. And they've got great field position, the Tigers do. Yeah, Hurd just got hit from behind, and somebody must have punched that ball because it went flying forward five yards. Yeah, it looked like popcorn flying out of there. <laughs> yeah, that, that actually cost West Alabama field position. First and 10, snap to Grammer, hands off. No, it's a quarterback keeper. Grammer straight up the middle and falls forward. Touchdown, West Alabama. Well, that'll give them a boost. Now, Greg, uh, Tigers looking for score. Anytime you can get points off a turnover, it's good for your team. Uh, definitely, and with such a short field, they started from the North Greenville 28, and Bernard McGee and Austin Graham are definitely the two forces to be reckoned with here early for West Alabama. 402 still in the first quarter. So second down and 10 after the incompletion. Two receivers far, two near. Balance formation for Grammer. Gets a snap, hands it off to his tailback. Straight up, and then a big hole for Thomas into the secondary at the 35-40. Gets a block out front, breaks another tackle, and faces Godbolt. And Godbolt finally is able to slow him down enough that Chauncey Haney is able to push him out of bounds, but not after a big run into Crusader territory. It's now third down and eight. Four receivers for Hunter. He'll drop back to pass, looks to the far side, lobs it up, and for Sanders, it's caught. First down deep into West Alabama territory to the 22. Easy catch for Sanders, his defender fell down. That was a good pass, but that time Hunter kind of threw it a little short. I think he was afraid of overthrowing him on that play. Snap to Hunter, it's dropped, rolls out to the far side, flag comes out, this one thrown down the field and caught in the end zone by number 12, Javon Smith. Well, we got one flag on the far side, one on the near side, and the play wasn't stopped, so. Yeah, right at the line of scrimmage, too. 
And normally if it's a false start, you're uh, supposed to stop play, so we'll see. Possibly an offside on the Tigers. That's what it was, offside on the Tigers. Uh, I'm sure that won't be declined, and a great touchdown pass from Will Hunter. Good score. To Javon Smith. So three receiver set, two near, one far, and it's a pass out into the flat to the tailback. Here he goes to the 40, to the 45, and that's your first half. So at the end of one, it is 17 North Greenville and seven for West Alabama. Third down and five, North Greenville looking for a stop. Trips to the right for Grammer, looks to the far side instead. Pressure comes and he's got, and he's dropped by the left leg. Now three receivers out, two far, one near. North Greenville looking, signaling pressure. Here comes Sam Houston, he's picked up. Grammer throws to the far side, wide open. Man at the 25, gets the first down easily to the 35 and That's drops to the turf. At the 37, Armstrong on the reception. Missed Crusaders play there. That receiver was wide open. Nobody within 20 yards of him. Same formation as before. Grammer drops back, looks down the middle, throws, caught easily by Armstrong, and dropped as he crosses the 25-24, and a couple of Crusaders collide in the secondary, and one of them still down. Three receivers in the formation. Grammer gets a snap, looks to throw to the far side end. Good job there gaining that separation. Touchdown for the Tigers. And it is once again Tay Armstrong. That is his eighth reception of the game. And it cuts the lead to potentially three. West Alabama looking to get it down 17, looking to only be down 17, 14. And a line drive kick blocked. No good. Good play by the Crusaders that time. Saved up extra point. And if this game stays close, this uh, that PAT, Miss PATs can come back to hurt you. Four receivers in this formation. Grammer gets a snap, hands off to his tailback. Thomas bounces it out to the near side. Has Greenfield in front of him. And finally gets tripped up at the 40, stumbles forward to the 38. And West Alabama starting to roll. Snap to Grammer. Kick is down, line drive low, but it is good. They draw within one. Grammer in the gun, drops back to pass, has four oh, receivers, oh, and oh, he gets flattened. It. Give that sack to number 90, Anthony Blair. Nowhere to go. And I would be very scared if I had a 6'3", 245 pound defensive tackle running at me too. You gotta go 97, 98 yards. Hunter in the shadow of his goal post. Hands off to Hurd. Hurd, big hole off the left side of the line. Hurd straight up the middle. He's still on his feet and finally gets brought down as he crosses the 20. Shaking tacklers all the way to the 22 and right back to it. Well, took him, a, took him a quarter, but he got it. Well, there's that statement you was talking about there, Grant. Hunter gets a snap, fakes the hand off to Hurd. Looks, looks, and uh, gets sacked back at the 15. Ran out of time. And we will run out of time here in the third quarter. The horn sounds, and that's not Hunter down on the turf, is it? Yes, I believe it is. This not good news for North Greenville at the end of the third quarter as the training staff comes out to take a look at the quarterback, Will Hunter. We'll step away for our quarter break. North Greenville leads at 17 to 16. West Alabama looking for a fourth quarter comeback here on the North Greenville Sports Network. Great way to help out your quarterback chances here as he'll drop back to pass, scramble out to the near side, look down the field, decides to tuck it and run, has to pick up a block, gets to the 30, 35, and tripped up at the 38. And the freshman comes through for North Greenville, first and 10. Snap again to Grammer, quick pass again to Armstrong. North Greenville can't make the play. There goes Armstrong inside the five. 
down to the three. The missed PAT, the difference right now. Third down and 14. Snap to Grammer, drops back, throws to the near side and caught over the defender's head. Pass complete to number three. Trey Fletcher, give him six. Third down, they need nine, does North Greenville. Sneed back in the gun, heard to his left. Here's the snap. Sneed drops back, stands tall, throws, caught by Mason Sanders at the 36. And he's still going, and he will fall forward to the 39, surrounded by three tacklers. Most importantly, it's first down. Sneed back in the gun. 10 on the play clock, gets a snap off. Looks, steps up, avoids the pressure, has a lot of room to run, takes off, gets to midfield, has the first down, and stays on his feet to keep going to Great. the 42. Great play on a broken, broken play there. Good call by the quarterback. Freshman playing like an experienced upperclassman. First and 10 from the Tiger, 42. Crusaders need, need some points here. Down to 414 on the clock. Need in the gun, four receivers to throw at. He'll drop back, look to throw. Here comes the pressure. He steps up, goes to run to the 15, 10, slides. Somehow they keep going. I think they've found themselves a backup quarterback. Uh, Crusaders are real happy about this one. And this Mr. should need coming through. And this is either going to be first down and goal or first down and 10 with the first down to you go at the one. It is first and goal. One receiver far side as well. Sneed hands it off. And straight to the right side goes Tracy Scott to the end zone. Touchdown. There we go. There we go. Now we're all tied at 23 with 140 to go on the clock. How about the other freshman, Tracy Scott, coming yep. in? And now it's going to come down to Gravely's toe again. That toe has been pretty good so far tonight. Tied the North Greenville field goal record on his first collegiate field goal kick. Kicked it over the embankment. So far, so good. Pilgrim, Dalton Pilgrim on the hold. Snap is down. Kick is on its way. It is good. It's good. Crusaders 24, Tigers 23. I think I predicted this game right. It is a good one. Big down here. Grammer gets a snap, drops back, looks, forced to scramble, has running room if he wants it. He takes it. North Greenville converges. Grammer gets the first down at the 40. 64 seconds left in the game. I have to, have to double check this. Grammer has been showing off running the ball all night. Crusaders asking the crowd, more noise, more noise. West Alabama as a team has a field, team field goal average or a team field goal long of 41 for last year. Four wide set for Grammer, drops back to pass. Steps up, here comes pressure, throws underneath, pass complete, and he's not gonna get it. That's gonna bring fourth down. Well, that was fourth down. That's it, turnover on downs. Yeah, Crusaders take over the ball, 29.7 left. Pass complete to Rashad Cunningham, but it's not enough. He's three yards short. And the Tigers can only stop the clock one more time. And North Greenville does want it that way, and it looks like they're going to get out of here with the win. Clock down to 10. Both teams congratulating each other. And there's the final call. The horn sounds. North Greenville officially moves to 1-0 on the season with a 24-23 victory over West Alabama. And West Alabama starts off their season 0-1 and a tough road schedule ahead of them. They have to go up against Stephen F. Austin, an FCS opponent, then Mississippi College back home against North Alabama, but North Alabama is no pushover. And then you get shorter, and that ends the month of September for West Alabama.